Hey everybody, welcome back to Nelly Roof Designs. Today I thought we would play with some surreal collage art and I have no idea where I'm going with this. I found some images that I like. I'm going to try to incorporate them and I guess we'll just see where it takes us. Um, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do surreal art every now and then. I really do like it. Um, it is a nice challenge. So I'd love to have you stick around if you're interested in it. And if you're a beginner uh, of surreal art, I'd love to have you stick around and hear my thought process as to how I try to, um, I don't want to say manage the the photos or the, the magazine um, images, but how I try to put some semblance to order um, with them. And um, if you're returning because you enjoy it, um, thank you. So I'm working with some newer images. I have this gal here who I think she's really cool. I pulled this here because I just think it's really, really pretty. Um, I want to use this image. I want to try to incorporate these cameras. I looked for my magazine that has all my other cameras in it and I'll be darned if I can find it um, because I I did have an idea in mind um, with some of the other camera images that I had seen but I cannot find them for the life of me. I think I'm going to just have to start pulling images when I go through my magazines and um, put them, you know, categorize them and put them in a box um, or fold, file folders. And then I will know um, where they are and I can just pick them out. So <clears throat> that was kind of a little stumbling block for me this morning. But I have been working. I came up to my craft room about quarter of nine. It's now quarter of 11. The one uh, art piece I wanted to do didn't work out all that well. I still need a few more. I need some arms, so I have to find arms. Once I find arms, um, I can work on that one as well. So when I saw her, I kind of changed it up a little bit, and I'm going to try something different. Then I found these birds, which I just think are so cool, and I just think that they would go um, really, really cool with her, with the colors. So I'm going to try to incorporate um, possibly this one because I would like to have it on this side, but maybe this one might work out just as well. So I may cut both of these out. I may cut just this one out, maybe this one. So I'm going to excuse myself at some point and cut some of these birds out and see where that takes us. Um, but for now, I am going to I'm going to work in this book. This is my uh, Marguerite Miller book that I work in with all my collages. And then in the back, it's where I've been doing um, some of my surreal art. I want to keep my collages all together. That was the last one. This, these are the camera images that I just can't locate, can't find them. So I'm going to have to start looking for them in a different place. So I'm going to use this book again. And these pages measure uh, 11, what are they? And I only go to the dotted line here, 8 by 11, okay? So that's the size of my pages that I work with, 8 by 11. Um, so I do want to leave a border around her, and I, I want to take out the Hermage um, advertisement there. So I'm just going to cut this down um, to see where I'm at. And I hope everybody is doing well today. And you're having a you're having a good day. 
So I'm going to try, let's see. So if this is, okay, we're going to do this and then we're gonna back off a little bit. I'm not too concerned if I have the dimensions perfect around this, only for the fact it's gonna be on a white background. I do like working on a back uh, on a back on a back white ground. <laughs> okay, um, if you speak my language, you'll know what I just said there. But I do like working on a white background. I think it makes some of these images pop even more. Um, now this here, I'm going to move this away because this will be just fine the way that is. This I'm going to put. You should see my room. Oh my goodness, it is just, I'm working on the cowboy, the cowgirl journals. Sorry about that, I had to get a drink. Um, and, see, got water on it. And um, I, I've, everything is like, whew, I've got this little tiny space to work in. So I think, at first I thought I was going to just cut her out and put her on this page, but I don't want to do that um, because I want this white border. So I think what I'm going to do, and this is where I'm going to take a little break, um, I'll, I'll fussy cut around here. I think I'm going to fussy cut around here and then I'm going to place this over. So I still have this white border, okay? Um, I like these colors. I want the clouds behind her. And I think it'll just give a different perspective if I cut her out. Um, instead of cutting you know, and leaving the border. So it's a pretty nice day here today. The sun is out, but we woke up to frost and oh it it's cold I did have to turn the heat on which I don't like doing now the one thing when you are working with magazine photos you have to have a very sharp exacto knife Um, because if you don't, you're going to tear the paper. If you're more comfortable with scissors, you could make some X's and take a large portion of the blue out. Um, and use your scissors. but I like, I like to use the knife. And then what I'm going to do here, this, is, this ruler isn't really good for that. I'm going to take this and carefully cut down, down here with the metal part. I'm not pressing that hard because I don't, again, I don't want to rip into, I'm just pressing down hard on the ruler. I went a little too much, too far there, but that's okay because um, she is still connected. Let 
then I'm going to I'm going to cut the top and this is the reason why I'm doing this so I was thinking about cut slitting here taking this section out but then I'd still have to cut on top here so while this is still solid um, I'm going to cut this I'm going to slice this across and again um, I'm not worried if there's a little bit of blue in this because it is going to be this white frame here is going to be placed against a blue backdrop so see now we have that and I will take my scissors and I will take this part out and just take little snippets if it's caught there a little bit there okay so this is what we have so far okay and then we're going to continue with her you're not going to cut this side yet um, only for the fact and this is where you want to when you're working with something like this you're, you want to hold it spread your fingers out put your hand down and just go slow so this doesn't wobble on you and for those that of you that fussy cut all the time um, you you know all this stuff but there's a lot of people out there that don't like to fussy cut they don't like to use an exacto knife sometimes that um, I wouldn't say scares them, but it's not their fondest tool. So that's I'm basically doing it for people that um, maybe don't fussy cut a lot or don't like to. I enjoy fussy cutting. It's just, I guess I'm a detailed oriented person. So I really enjoy doing it. I think I'd fussy cut for anybody. You know, it's like when the when you were in high school or college and they had typewriters. A lot of people didn't know how to type or they didn't like to type and girls would type up their friends papers and that's how they'd make extra money on the side by typing things that's what I would do for people I'd you want me to fussy cut all that'd be a good little business fussy cutting business and I'm going to come right across here Okay, all right, so she is done. See, that wasn't very bad, was it? And I think that looks, I think that's going to be better. So we're going to take her and we're going to put her. So see the difference? I just think this is really, I think that's really cool. And now you can just kind of move and position her as to where if you want the mountains in there so what I'm going to do the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to get two pieces of white paper and this is how you can tell for your border let's see here bear with me 
I need white. Okay. So you're going to take two pieces of white paper and it's going to act as your background. So you can put... I have to be careful because I do not want to rip and tear this. So you can put one here like this. And then you can put the other one here like this. And then you can see um, what you want for that background, all right? Then you can just kind of move it if you want more. If you don't want the land in here, if you want more of just the ocean with the turquoise, I'm going to put that there. And put that there. I think I kind of like um, just the, the ocean there. I don't think, of course, that little bit of land coming out. And then you got to look at the clouds. So I think what I'm going to do is we still have the shore. We can lower this a little bit um, because that way the clouds show up a little bit more. All right. We have a little bit of land here, which I like her scarf kind of attaching to that, and then the clouds there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here, and I'm going to mark it. I'm not going to glue her down yet or put a mark in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Just going to pencil this like this, okay? Can't really see it down here. And I'm just giving a, an, an area there, all right? Um, so I think, and I don't want to mark this because I might be able to use this for something else. So I think I'm going to start on the top here, cutting this section and just take it slow because like, you know, I've always said you can, you can take more paper off, but you can't, you can't put it back on. Okay. And these, just these little tiny marks here do help. And then you just line it up and from there. Now the bottom I did not do yet so we're going to oh I do I can see my mark there so we'll do it right here all right okay so we have our background and I'm going to work with this just on the, this white paper here. This is eight and a half by 11, so it's not really going to matter. Um, it's pretty much, and I have to cut this down a little bit more, as you can see. All right, so we're going to just want to trim this side a little bit, or do we want to trim this side? We'll trim this side a little bit, side and the bottom. And again, you don't want to do, that doesn't look even, no it is, you don't want to do too much, just a little bit at a time, because you are working with a narrow border on the bottom, so again, you don't want to take, you don't want to take too much off, so We'll just try this now. And still just a little bit more off that bottom. 
just a smidgen. Okay, and I think that will do it. I think that will do it. And that will do it. So there we are here. So my next thought, and this is where I will, um, the reason why I want to use a white border is on some of these birds, I would really like to have, I'd like to have a portion of the bird coming up here, possibly one here and having the tail hang down. I wanna have some color off outside of the frame. All right, that's what I'm thinking, okay? Um, the other idea I have, I really want to incorporate these flowers and I thought it would be fun to have these as part of her glasses. All right here. And then I'd really like to have a bird sitting on her head here and having the tail come down and around, okay, her scarf. That, that's my thought process. Um, and I want to incorporate these can cannons, okay, <laughs> thinking cannon cameras. These are Leicas. Um, I want to incorporate these, and I'm not quite sure... I could also have the lenses coming out of her of her eyes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step away and I'm going to cut the cameras out. I'm going to cut some birds out and then we will be back and um, hopefully we can finish up this collage. So I have the items cut out. I have the camera, the two cameras cut out here. All right, I did cut out a um, couple birds. This one I was looking at, but I don't think I'm going to use because I don't, it's not, the placement isn't going to be right. So I did cut out the large uh, parrot, parakeet parrot, and it, actually it's a macaw, and um, I cut this one out. So if we use... And this is where you just have to play with the composition and see really what you like, what you want to do. If we use the flowers here, okay, we can play with this a little bit. Um, and keep in mind of her, keep in mind her nose um, also. And covering some of these the glasses here. All right, maybe something like that. And then if you took, if you took the um, large bird and you could put it something like this, okay? Um, you're covering up, you're covering up that white frame. I mean, that's not bad. Um, covering up the, the white frame. So you lose that. So you have to keep that in mind. It just depends on what what look you're trying to achieve. If you bring this, if you bring it in more, you bring him up, then you still have a little bit of the white frame up here. Um, it's okay. I don't know if I'm if I'm crazy about it, it's a cool look. Um, and then you could take you could take these flowers and maybe incorporate them. But I wouldn't incorporate the flowers. I would leave it like that. Okay. Um, I don't have. I thought the tail might come down a little bit more. But again, that's that's a cool look there. Um, the other thing. You, if we did that, I'd like to put something 
I'm thinking about her scarf. Let's just quickly put these back here. I'm thinking about her scarf and what could be incorporated that maybe a little bit more like that um, what you could incorporate with her scarf I'd like to do something with the scarf down here um, I mean you could put flowers but then it takes you could tuck these in the you know you could make little slits tuck these in but then I don't know I think it takes away from the flowers up there okay so that's where the less is more comes in all right the other thing that if it works um and you still we still wanted to use the birds um i was thinking originally that the camera you could put a camera lens right here so she would be taking but these aren't the right angles that's why i was looking for that the other cameras um, where you have a straight on lens, you could put the lens right here. Um, but the other thing you could do is you could have these as her eyewear. And that works pretty good. And I think, I think that looks really cool. Um, and you can have it just like that. And it doesn't hinder any of the um, the work around her. Um, if we wanted to, I think the bird, we could have the bird here again, but I think the bird takes away from the overall, I just think it's too busy, I think it's too much. So we're not going to go with that. Um, I do like that a lot. I like that a lot more than the flowers right now over the glasses. But I would like to do something to soften this. So I know I'm not going to be tucking anything around um, behind her. So I think what I'm going to do, everything will be put forward. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this glued down in my book. All right, we'll start with that. So I'll bring that up here. I'm carefully move these over to the side. And we'll get this position. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. Right about there. Move some of this other stuff on my desk. Let's get everything out from under here. All right, so we will get this centered. And we'll get this down first. I think what I'll do is just make sure, I just want to make sure that that's pretty square and centered. Maybe what I'll do is I'll tack this bottom down. Like this here. All right, so we have that down. All right, then I can get, I'll get the rest of this down here. Now I could have taken a little tiny bit more of that blue off of the side, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think it blends in fairly well. And with magazine, I know a lot of people use um, glue stick. 
I don't like glue stick because I think I I don't use I don't think I use it properly and I think it makes my paper wavy and crinkly especially magazine so I use the art glitter glue and you'll notice I don't use I only use it on the outside of magazine pieces um, if I were to go like this it would leave marks on her face and I'm going to I think I'm going to flip this because I got I'll do a, a solid collage on there I don't want that blue on there from when I had glued it so I'm just going to flip that and get this over on here and again I'm only going to do the outside on here okay all right okay all right so I think that looks pretty straight okay so now we're going to get the um, I just want to get these positioned and I will put a little tiny dab of glue because I may tuck some flowers in around here. And I want to make sure she has enough because these glasses are showing. So we're just going to make a little tiny bit there and she has her new spectacles on all right and then we're going to come back and take some of these because these are the I think these are oops these are cool colors um, there's also a red that I think I'll cut this out really quick And these, just so you know, these collages, um, they don't happen overnight. It does take, you know, it takes a little bit of time. Um, the best thing I think, the advice I can give is, if you find images in a magazine that you like and you want to try surreal collage art, start tearing them out of your magazine and just when you're doing other crafting or collaging like if you participate in the Marguerite Miller um, or any other collage challenges or you watch other collage artists um, have that image next to you and as you're looking through other magazines and such. Um, you'll find images that you might be able to pair with it. And then you can, you know, rip them out, cut them out. And then you can start to play. But it is it is a process. It, it just doesn't happen um, instantaneously. And your thought process is going to change as well when you're working on a collage. I mean, the collage that, like I said, I wanted to actually do today, this, this wasn't it. Um, so it literally got all changed up. I just think adding some of these flowers would be really cool to the mix as well. And 
and this is where you're going to have to play as to you know what what you want to see what I think I just kind of like that. I like that there. I don't think I need that down there. I think this is good. Because that just kind of, that this is the focal point, all right? So I think we can go ahead and I'm going to start, let's see, so I just want to think here how I want to start tacking this stuff down. And we'll start with that one. Start with that one. And I'm just going again out around the outside of the magazine pieces because I don't want, whoops. And just be careful, there's a good example there. Um, sometimes when you get, like I just flicked that glue, um, it does do something to the digital ink here. So you just have to be careful. I hope I'm going to get my head in the way here. Okay, so that's down. Um, this, I'm going to come back to that. I'll get part of this down. Okay. That there. And then how do we have this? We had this. Oh, how'd I have that, ladies? Oh, we had it like, did I have it like that? No. Oh, and they used to say, take a picture, it lasts longer. I need to take a picture, just, I think I had it like that, because I, I know I had that there. Okay. So we are going to put this like that. And I'm just going to turn this so I can get underneath here. And then we're going to just put a little line Just to hold that down. There. Okay, let's move some of this stuff out of the way here. Hopefully it's not in the way. Okay. All right. So that is my surreal collage for today. And I really like it. I'm going to have to start naming these, aren't I? But I think that is really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to give you some good tips and hints and um, some tricks when you're working with 
uh, different images and such and a different way again to look at things. So if you liked this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, and if you know of anyone out there that is looking to practice their surreal uh, collage art, I'd love to have you um, send them over to my channel. I really enjoy doing this, so I think this is where I'm headed with a lot more of my work. Um, and I hope you like it. So I want everybody to have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.